The universe has always been an incredibly weird place, and when scientists finally unlocked the world of quantum mechanics, that strangeness was amplified many times over. From the discovery of particles being a particle and a wave at the same time, to the bizarre phenomenon of quantum entanglement, the world of the very small seems to violate the common sense and logic that dominated science from its founding. Today, we're diving into the wacky realm of quantum mysteries to uncover the reality of quantum superposition. Early Quantum Mechanics Before the 1920s, many scientists in the physics field believed that they may be closing in on understanding the vast majority of our reality. But then, new experiments probing into the bizarre world of subatomic particles opened the door in the weird and crazy world of quantum mechanics, including many new concepts such as the incredible phenomena of quantum superposition. With this new form of physics came a huge outpour of experiments and theories that seemed almost magical at the time. There was a rush to try and form some kind of understanding about this mysterious new realm and unlock the potential hiding inside. On the other side of the scientific community, many of them felt uneasy about this whole new realm of reality and spent their time trying to disprove the seemingly impossible realities that make up the quantum world. But experimental findings will always come out on top, and after rigorous testing, there is no doubt that this strangeness is actually real. I can see tons of dots now. Not tons, but I can see dots spreading across uh, that way. Either side. Yeah, definitely. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's incredible. And that's just nothing else apart from... Two slits. Two slits. The weirdness of quantum superposition. Early quantum research found that quantum particles have measurable properties called quantum states. Some examples of a particle's quantum state are its spin, position, and its energy. Scientists were able to discover that in certain scenarios, these subatomic particles have an interesting feature that allows them to occupy multiple quantum states at one time. This ability to be in multiple states at once is called quantum superposition. The concept of quantum superposition wasn't discovered until the mid-1930s by the famous physicist Erwin Schrödinger, who is now known to be one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics. But quantum superposition seems impossible, doesn't it? How can this be possible? How can a particle have multiple values for a state? Well, the world of quantum mechanics is ripe with these types of phenomena that defy the conventional logic that we're familiar with. One popular example of quantum superposition came in the form of the infamous double slit experiment, which has been repeated again and again with the same result. Although it was first documented in the early 1800s that a beam of photons, little bits of matter, incident on a screen with two slits cut out will create an interference pattern when measured on the opposite side of the screen. The double slit experiment showed that photons will interact with each other and form an interference pattern identical to that of a wave. The reasoning that the photons were simply bouncing off each other held up for over a century and a half. But the final bit of weirdness in the double slit experiment wasn't found until 1971 when the technology existed to fire photons at the slits one at a time. What they found was that after firing these single photons through the slits for a long time, the same interference pattern from firing a beam of photons appeared. The only conclusion that scientists could come up with was that the singular photon traveled through both slits and interfered with itself on the other side. Regardless of how scientists felt about this, it was clear that subatomic particles can exist in multiple places at once and were able to develop complex mathematics that can explain these bizarre interactions. While this whole concept of quantum superposition makes sense in the math of quantum mechanics, it can be hard to explain much of this realm's strangeness using just words. But Schrodinger was extremely smart and came up with a brilliant thought experiment to help people understand this phenomena involving a closed box, a cat, and a radioactive material that may or may not decay. Schrodinger's Cat In Schrodinger's thought experiment, we're asked to picture a cat being placed inside of a closed box with a special contraption. This contraption was made of a bottle of a toxic substance and a hammer attached to a Geiger counter that contains a small amount of radioactive material. 
The material has a chance to decay, which will then set off the Geiger counter and release the hammer shattering the toxin. But there is an equal opportunity that the radioactive material will not decay, and thus the hammer will not smash the bottle. Because there is an equal chance that either scenario will occur in a given time, before the box is open, the cat exists in two equally likely scenarios, that of being alive and dead with no way of knowing unless we open the box. Only opening the box and looking inside destroys this closed system and forces the cat back into only one state. Much like the results of the double slit experiment, the cat existed in two separate states until an outside observer took a look into the system, added energy, and caused it to exist in only one state. While the evidence proving quantum superposition as a part of reality was met with mixed enthusiasm, some scientists were jumping at the chance to be the first to find a practical use for this new discovery. What applications could take advantage of this mysterious feature of subatomic particles? Applications for Quantum Superposition One application of superposition that has shown a lot of promise in the past few years has been in the field of quantum computing. Where traditional computers use a binary system that only has two possible states, quantum computers use something called qubits, which can be in many different states at once. This allows a quantum computer to work with much more information all at once and allows for much faster processing. Scientists have been motivated by the number of possibilities available with super-powered quantum computers that seem to be endless. Many researchers have already begun utilizing this computational power to build massive models of the universe in greater detail than ever before, as well as using it to help sequencing genomes that would take traditional computers an incredibly long amount of time. What kind of tasks will quantum computers be able to do in the future? Quantum Superposition in Nature but quantum superposition is not only found in laboratory experiments or in the most advanced computers around. There have also been a number of times that nature has been caught using quantum superposition in different biological functions. Some plants have been studied and found to utilize quantum superposition in their chlorophyll to help maximize their efficiency when photosynthesizing. The early research shows that this process has something to do with transferring hydrogen within the plant cell. The team working on this is hoping to confirm their findings soon. Where could the next piece of quantum physics be found in the natural world? Life has been around for a long time, three and a half billion years on this planet. Uh, and there's plenty of time to learn some quantum trickery if it confers an advantage. The world of quantum mechanics is a strange place, full of new rules that seem to bend or break the physical laws that govern us. But physicists have been working hard to bring that realm of mysteries into our understanding of the universe. What is your favorite bit of quantum weirdness? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.